through. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ace Sniper Returns here on the Expert of Strategies. Now, while Ace was destroying uh, that construction yard where we left off in part one, Scrinwash is here in Dave's base completely and utterly pwning. Now, as you saw there, Scrinwash had destroyed the refinery, but when he destroyed the refinery, it gives Dave enough power to activate his watchtowers again which are unloading onto those shard walkers. But if there's one thing I've learned from gun towers, it's that they are especially good against anti-infantry and they can be good against um, they can be good against vehicles only if there's a large number of them and if they have AP ammo. And last time I checked, Dave doesn't have AP ammo because Scrinwash has just killed him. Yeah, boy. One down already. Dave is out. Bye bye, Dave. See you next season. And here we go now. Ace is dealing with damage on power plants now, belonging to Bob. Hmm, Bob plants. <laughs> but who cares? As you just see, him unloading and. Well, a massive amount of power and a massive amount of damage against these buildings. He also wants to take out the outposts because, as you know, that can be the most annoying thing with some people. They, You destroy their base and then you find out, okay, why aren't they dead? Why aren't they dead? It's because they probably have hidden an outpost somewhere and then you have to take a heck of a lot of time just searching around trying to find it. And here you go, you got Ace's full army now, consisting of, well, mostly Seekers, um, a couple of swarms t against infantry, a gunwalker against infantry as well, and also against aircraft, because gunwalkers and shardwalkers can attack aircraft. And he's got a mini team attacking that last refinery up there, which is getting slapped around the face a numerous amount of times with those. Seekers, a few more shots to do the trick. Okay, a few more. Okay, maybe a few more then. And... Okay, maybe a few more. Here we go. And... Kaboom. Bob is out. And now it's time to fast forward. Oh yeah. Fasting forward in time when we are... Start the main attack onto freaking Jeff. That's uh, this manic dude, him. And look at my army! My army consisting of behemoths fitted out with different combinations of units. Mobile repair. Mobile repair vehicles so that they can repair the behemoths and also attack enemy infantry. And also a f couple of mammoth tanks that just love to pwn. Now, as you can see, this is immense battling right here. That one behemoth right there is getting seriously damaged. I was trying... Yeah, I attempted to call back. I sadly lost him. But, I, at least I have four... At least I have four behemoths. And I have a couple more mouth tanks queued up. So, I should be okay to move on uh, a little bit on. A little bit later on. Now, I moved my tanks forward... Um, Sorry, I moved my behemoths back because they were taking a bit of a pounding and I mainly went out there just to test, well, one, to test Jeff's power at that moment in time and two, to get rid of that base because that, that mini outpost right there was really annoying me because that was his main way of getting to Tiberium 
or one of his main ways of getting to Tiberium because obviously his blue Tiberium ran out and he's running out of ideas so he's just gonna have to send harvesters around the place speaking of harvesters got a harvester here being attacked by Squint Rush's mighty shard walkers that have been upgraded with the blue shard and if we look where Ace is, yep there's his big seeker and gun walker army and he's expanded to Bob's area to get some extra tip. Nicely done. And uh oh, could Ace be planning something here? Oh, stay tuned to find out. And oh, by the looks of it, Screen Rusher might be thinking of the same thing. Oh no, could this possibly, possibly be an attempt to use the mothership against Jeff? Well, we'll check on that a little bit later. As you see, you got my perfect row right there. What I tried to do was, I tried to put my mammoth tanks on the edges, my behemoths with each other, and then my mobile repair vehicles around all of them, so that they can all get repaired. And the really cool thing is, even if you just send out one mobile repair vehicle, it'll repair itself. But obviously you want to back it up with others. Because you don't just want to send a mobile repair vehicle out to an enemy base hoping to uh, to capture their construction yard when there's a slight chance you're not going to do it. Just a little warning. And there you go, there's Ace's drone ship flying there. Here's his expansion base. Close to my base of that. There's Grin Rusher's little outpost which isn't really doing much of the moment he's probably saving up for that signal transmitter that he needs while Jeff's base is absolutely big and he's got a Redeemer building facility everything could the tides could begin to turn and look a rig or should I now call it a battle base lovely and in case you haven't noticed yep I've upgraded to railgun accelerate well Railguns, not railgun accelerators, because uh, that's the ability. There you go, used uh, EMP clusters, as I like to call them. Um, right there. The actual name for the EMP clusters is uh, Shockwave Artillery. I know that for a fact. Uh, nothing really going on in this stage. Um, as far as we know, uh, Screen Rusher and Ace were talking about how. They were going to plan a big pincer maneuver to take out Jeff. While I was there saying, hey, if I take out that base there, he's just going to charge right into my behemoth, so he'll die one way or another. So he practically had him stuck right about now. And look, Ace put down a lightning spike which sadly got taken out. And Skinross was saying round about now that, yep, we seriously need to get rid of it. Yeah, that uh, Temple of Nod. Because we were running out of time. And tick tick tickety means run your ass out of there. Okay. So at this moment in time, we're just having a chat about things. And my behemoths are walking towards Ace's base. But too much. See him in part three.